Hey friends, it's Steven and Courtney with Leviathan Snakes, and we're going to be talking about our 2023 breeding plant, and we're gonna be pairing some snakes, so. So this is just kind of, we have everything in front of us. Um, I have our Excel sheet that has all of our females, all of our males, and who are first and second choice sire of each clutches. I have a notebook that I'm keeping notes on. And then we have the calendar in front of us. It is the 2023 calendar and it is still December. But um, when we have a male that goes to a lot of females, we have to like stagger when he goes to each. Um, so we use the calendar to plan out those pairings and we also record when we've seen a confirmed lock on the calendar. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got in front of us. So let's get to it. Awesome. All right, so we were starting from our females. All right, so, so Delilah, she's gonna go to Levi. So Delilah is a visual albino female and Levi is an African import that we got last year and he's up to size now. And the reason why we wanna do this specific pairing is if all of her babies are gonna look normal. They'll be 100% heterozygous for albino, but it makes it really, really easy to tell if Levi's um, appearance passes on to the babies. If they all look like normals and there's nothing we can do, either his appearance isn't genetic or it's recessive. And if we can very easily tell like, oh, half the babies roughly are looking like Levi, we'd be like, oh, it's incomplete dominant or dominant. But it's the first step that we want to do to prove out if his appearance is genetic. And we don't want to pair him to too many females. Delilah's one that may not have gone this year otherwise. Um, so we <clears throat> figured that would be a good, a good pairing where we might end up with a clutch of normals, but that's okay. Because honestly, I think it'll probably be our only normals mm -hmm. and they'll all be head albino yep yep so okay so next up is sarabi to louis obviously sarabi is our super pastel mystic girl and louis is our butter mojave male so all of the babies will be either butter or mojave and they will all be pastel so that way we get some pastel mystic potions we get some bells and then we get some pastades and butter mojaves yeah i'm this... sorry butter pastels um this is probably one of our most popular clutches every year i feel like that all of the mystic potions sell way before they hit morph market the bells sell pretty quickly sometimes i think we did um kind of not we didn't sell the um butter pastels that we got this year as easily but um you know it's a good i think it's a good pairing to keep making mm -hmm. all right next up dina tameru Yes, yes. So Dinah is our banana blade, 100% het clown female. She's given us two clutches, um, our first year breeding in this last season. She's awesome. Um, solid seven eggs both times. Um, and Meru is our Neola clown male. And we are really, really stoked because it was a banana Neola clown combo that we saw from BPM reptiles that made us want to get into the project. So I'm really excited to see some Neola banana clowns. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully. All right, with her being head clown, it is not 100% clowns, mm. but I'm hoping. All right, Demaya, she's going to Alabaster. Yes, yes. So what's what's Demaya? Why? What, there's a lot of genes in this one, so. So she's a cinnamon enchi, which is an allelic pairing. Cinnamon and enchi, all of her babies will carry either cinnamon or enchi. And he is a banana, calico, yellow belly, Enchi male. So what we're really hoping for is the all G animal, which isn't all genes because she can only give cinnamon or Enchi, but we want her cinnamon, his Enchi, his banana, yellow belly, and calico. Mm -hmm. Make an awesome bonfire with yeah. yellow belly. Yeah. It, it'll yellow be super cool. Bonfire. That's what we're hoping for. Um, honestly, any of those babies are going to be incredibly, any of those babies that have banana in them, because they'll all be banana, mm -hmm. Enchi or banana cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Calico is beautiful. Yellow belly is stunning. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be a really, really cool looking clutch. We're really excited about that one. All right. Next up is Mocha. So Mocha gave us our worst clutch that we've ever had. There was like two or three babies, I don't remember, three babies that were not viable. Like they hatched, but they were horribly kinked and there was other deformities. And she was also supposed to be het clown and of the nine eggs, none of them were clowns. She also gave us three with physical deformities other than non-viability. So we don't think that she's het clown, so we're not necessarily pairing her to a clown this year. We might, but not for her first sire kind of thing. Um, but we are worried that the disaster of the clutch was due to her, so we don't want to sell her, especially as a breeder female, if she produces like non-viable babies on a consistent basis. So we're pairing her to somebody 
um, just to see before we decide if we're going to sell her as pet only or as a breeder. So who so are you thinking? She's past Ave. We do have Louis uh, for bells. We could get squeeze okay. out some more bells. However, Louis is not the best male, mm -hmm. and we do have him going to a couple different females. So I worry about him not locking. Him not locking. So if we paired him to her, um, all of their all of the babies that she passes Mojave on to will be a bell. So that's a good, that's good if he mm -hmm. were to actually lock. Yeah, okay. But if he doesn't lock, we do have the option of uh, like. I would probably say given what we have, Meru, just in case we were crazy unlucky. Which I don't think so. I don't think she's that clown. But maybe, but I do think Mayru's got a couple other. Okay, and he, this is his first here. season. This is his first season. Um, I don't want to do Aries. Yeah, he's a lot. Um, I think so. I'm thinking we have Vinny, who's disco fire, which is a mm -hmm. We have um, Leo, who's ivory. So that's a super. I. Um, personally i would kind of go off of the idea because if we did i'm expecting like if we paired let's say Vinny to her them to not be any visual clowns because i don't think she is heck clown but you're willing to do mayor no i actually that's what i was getting ready to say is if louie doesn't lock her we don't give another one because i'm afraid that given like um the market for them that people aren't wanting they may not be as inclined to buy a firefly mojave head clown okay. uh, but i do think that bells will are solid okay we don't have any other like super or a lilac pairing with butter or mojave i don't think we have any other butter or mojave or lesser we could do alabaster like he has banana in there and they make some very pretty snakes yeah but uh, banana mojave is pretty Mm -hmm. And I don't think Alabaster, I think he only has right now Demaya. Well, I'll put Alabaster as her backup. Okay. I think that's a good one. Alright, next up is Evie. That's Aries, like 100%. She is a Het Sunset. She proved out for us. We bought her as a Het Sunset, 100%. But she produced visual sunsets for us this last season, so... To Aries all day long. She also has a, a huge clutch. Yes, a yes. A wonky huge clutch. Okay. Next up is Annie. She's actually already locked with Atlas, just as a, like, introduction. So Annie is um, Yellow Belly Red Stripe. Atlas is our female maker banana OD edgy asphalt. So she's got Yellow Belly. He's got asphalt. Those would be some pretty cool freeways if we were to hit I agree. Uh, with other jeans in there. So I say stick with Amy and Alice. Yep, I agree with that one. On here I have Quinn to Leo, but we're not doing that. We're doing Quinn to Atlas as well. Yes, yes, and they've already had a lock as well. So Quinn is a pastel clown female. We got her as a tiny hatchling. She gave us our first clutch from her this last season, so this will be her second year going. All right. I have Nemesis to Apollo. Yes. So Nemesis is beautiful exanthic female and then apollo is a firefly 100 percent het vpi exanthic and they have not logged like they <laughs> oh we've been putting them in forever they've never locked they yeah. may have locked once mm -hmm. but we'll keep doing that because we don't have any other exanthic stuff and i'm not interested in anything for a backup because i'm not trying to make any heads we already have double head exanthic clowns mm -hmm. that are growing up we don't need to make more yep um next up is ribbon I have her going to Leo. Yes. I, I personally agree with that one still. Ribbon is a visual clown, um, inchy, or visual, she is an inchy blade visual clown female. And then Leo is an ivory leopard het clown male. Um, I, I think that it'll look super cool. I really like the, I, or the inchy leopard clowns and with all of them being yellow belly too. Mm -hmm. um, so ribbon on Leo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have her backup as Aries. Okay. Because that's, I think, who you had originally yeah. got her for, but... I don't think Aries will have enough. I don't think that's a good backup. Do we want to put Meru as a possible yeah. backup? Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. All right. Next up is Marigold. 
we're thinking of putting her to so marigold is a banana and she female she's a beautiful stunning banana and she female she's the prettiest banana and she you've ever seen and silver is a cinnamon ghi mojave male he's mojave oh yeah yeah for uh, okay, we, okay. We can... so the only thing about silver uh he's not a great eater all the time he only yeah. eats mice and he doesn't always eat so in case he doesn't i do have a backup of Meru on there. I agree with that. I think that Silver to Marigold will make some absolutely beautiful bananas. Banana that will... GHI, banana cinnamon, mm -hmm. banana I, I think I think that's uh, going to be awesome for the pet market, and I don't think that we have very many pet clutches this year, like specifically aimed at it. But Meru, I also think will look amazing. But those are going to be way more hold for backs. <laughs> oh yeah, holdbacks and for other breeders. And so she's a female banana, so all of her offspring will be female maker or female bananas. I, I agree with that. That I, have banana in the menu. Okay, I'm going to put Marigold down under silver right now. Is that, do you think that's a good pairing, or do we think, you think we should stick with Meru? Let's, I, I think, I, I don't know. Either way, either way you. Let's look at, let's look at the rest of what we okay. have, because I don't think we have a whole lot of pet clutches. Okay. All right, Nola to Atlas. Yes, Obviously. they've already locked. You want to talk about them? Nola is our Mardi Gras female. She, again, is stunning. Um, so she has uh, yellow belly, asphalt, and NG. Atlas, again, is our female maker, banana, OD, NG, asphalt. So what we're hoping from them is super asphalt, freeway, um, Amazing NG, comments. banana, super NG. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're excited about that one. Um, OD. Did I say OD? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's OD. Um, all right, next up is Sable. So Sable, we got her as a black pastel spot nose. And while we were buying her, just as black pastel spot nose because she was beautiful, they were like, hey, by the way, she's also 66% heifer clown. So we have been going off of like, oh, 66% heifer clown. She's beautiful. It's probably the clown influence um, is what makes her look so good. We tested her shed and it came back negative. So she is not het for clown. And we were planning to pair her to Meru going off of the idea of like, oh, we'll prove her out as het for clown. Do how, What do we want to do with that I one? I think now? you had actually already paired her to Vinny. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, she got right. a lock in with Vinny already. Yes. I don't want to continue that. Okay. I would really like uh, to pair her to Atlas. Okay, I'll put her down under Atlas. Or Alabaster, what do you think? So right now I have Atlas going to three. three. Yeah, so that should that would be four. Okay, All right, I'm gonna put her down there because we have a um, banana black pastel mahogany asphalt. That is probably one of the most beautiful snakes that we own. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, we're just talking about how beautiful all of our snakes are. <laughs> all right, design. I have her going to Aries on here. I don't think that's what we had. Yeah, yeah, I think is so. That, is that right? Yeah, yeah, because, okay. um, yes. So design is a single gene mahogany, and um, I'm pretty sure they've had one confirmed lock so Oh, far. okay, perfect. Yeah, right. so. I didn't have, you didn't. I just, I think that the dark morphs look good in Sunset, so that's why we wanted to work mahogany into the Sunset project, so. All right, next up is Cleo. Cleo is going to Aries, and they've also had a confirmed lock. Um, she is a high intensity orange dream. OD. No, oh, yep. Sorry, sorry. I didn't <laughs> say OD. Um, high intensity orange dream, yellow belly, inchy, Mojave, and a fire. So she is actually our most powerful combo animal that we own. Um, and we were just looking at it as like, let's get a bunch of genes into the sunset project in one go. So we paired her to our visual sunset meal. Um, I'm stoked about that one. The only one that I don't really think I care for is the fire. In Sunset? Do you like fire? Oh yeah, I, I think it looks super good in Sunset. My bad. All right, Psyche. I have her as going to Levi. I do not want to do that. Yeah, let's change it. So I think that we have put Levi in, but there was no confirmed lock um, with either side. Eros. Eros is who we ended up, go I put him in with, but they didn't lock. So who would we want to go for them? They're just, Psyche is a single gene GHI female. So Alabaster to one of them. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. I'm just. You but that go. also makes me think that maybe that's not the best pair. That silver might not be the best pair for Marigold if we're doing other banana GHI stuff. Though silver does also have cinnamon, mm -hmm. there'd be a lot more. So my thing with the GHI girls is, what do we want GHI in? I think they are either going to be pet clutches or we have to pair them to something that we want to hold back. So I personally, I like GHI clowns, but personally, I don't think that we should maybe Meru. Um, if we're trying to work um, GHI and Niala in together, I have no idea what it would look like because they're both dark jeans. Um, maybe that one, but otherwise I would say if we wanted to do it, I would rather pair them to pet clutches that will make beautiful animals and we go buy a GHI clown next season. All right. Um, so we already have banana GHI being created, mm -hmm. um, but banana is our big like pet seller. Yep. So our most powerful, uh, our most powerful banana would be alabaster or atlas. We have two GHI girls. We can do alabaster and atlas. We can. I, I I'm down for that. Atlas right now I have going to four females. Okay, and that would be five. Yeah, that would put it at five, which is fine. Like that's what Aries did this last season. Is there anyone else? Other than Alabaster, do you want to put Alabaster to both of them? Right now I have Alabaster going to two. Or he is going to, for sure, Demaya, and then Mocha as a backup. I would put Alabaster down to both right now. Except I have Pennywise going to Leo or Vinny. I would say Leo. I think that, I personally think that I have Leopard Leo and Bay. then the backup is Vinny. Yeah, I think that's, that's good. So, um, Pennywise. They've been introduced, but they haven't locked. So... Next up, if Cersei goes, Louis. Yes. So we bought her. Okay, wait, we didn't say anything about. Oh, you're right, you're right. Um, Pennywise. Pennywise is a single jean clown. Leo is an ivory leopard head clown male, so that would give us uh, all yellow belly, half clown, um, and then some leopard mixed into that. Mm -hmm. Pennywise isn't a super powerful female. Um, she's a visual clown, though. So. She's a visual clown. Um, and so we also have Vinny as a backup because he is a fire disco possible edgy head clown. Mm -hmm. I or mean, clown, a visual clown, clown sorry. Um, all right, so Cersei is our super pastel, super mystic female. Louis is our butter mojave male. A lot of bells. Bells and mystic potions. Yeah, yeah. I, again, people love those mystic potions. People love bells. And this will be a whole clutch of them, which we're super excited about. Okay, next up, I have Prada. Yes, so they've already locked, which we are so stoked about. We finally saw a lock. Yes. We've been pairing them for a while. So Prada is our super banana sunset female, and then she's been paired to Aries, who is our visual sunset male. So we are hoping that she ends up going and gives us an entire clutch, every single baby being a banana sunset. And any males will be female maker banana sunset because she's a female super banana. So we are... Absolutely stoked. Right. Naira going to Louis again, or do we want to wait to find out what, what the happened? clutch is? Yeah, so that one goes on, that clutch, Naira's clutch hatches on um, January 8th. So she's probably going to be late season. We're not going to be pairing her until. No, no. Probably summer, yeah. I would imagine, is when we'll start pairing her. Yeah. Um, I'm down to put her as Louie, but we can kind of yeah, look at that. Yeah, we can put Louie for now, and then Atlas otherwise. I'll yeah. put the, him as her backup, because that's who we paired her to. This year, we have no idea who sired the clutch. We did not see a visual lock between her and either male. Atlas is a great breeder. He locks like that, so I'm wondering if she's just... Not feeling it. <laughs> a quick lock. Mm, mm. I see, I see. I was gonna say a quick lock. You can't say that. This is YouTube. We're getting demonetized. Well, just cut it out. <laughs> um, All right. Sugar. All right. Sugar is a Niala Mojave spider het clown female. And we don't really work with spider that much. but when, At all. <laughs> yeah. We, we don't have anything against it, like, on the morph itself. But we don't think that they sell well, given, like, the current market conditions. That said, when we were getting into the Niala project... They were the only fem they were the only Niala animals available. Period. 
And had we not bought them, I don't think that we would have been able to buy the Neola Clown male. Mm -hmm. So we got them, and they're both breeder size. There's two of them. We'll talk about the other one in a second. Um, but I think we should pair them to a clown male. We only so have... we have Vinny is a visual clown. Okay. Um, we won't have Chai anymore. He's just a visual clown. Yeah. We don't want to do Mare because we don't want to do Super Niala, yes. right? Because yes. Super... So Super Niala looks like a Suma. It looks like a Super Mahogany. It's all black. Um, and it... Which I think is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It, is, it is cool. But we wouldn't know if they're clowns or any of the other genes. Yeah, over. but it might be a cool holdback if we tested the sheds. True. Oh, I forgot about that. That is a... That is an interesting idea. I honestly, I think that we should do that for one of do them. Do one to Mara? Yeah, I say we do not not sugar because sugar has the Mojave in it. I feel like that we want to see the Mojave. So let's do um, sugar to Vinny, and I think they have had a lock. And then spices Spice going, going to Mara. I like that. I think that's, that's super what, cool. I, yeah because we can hold back a super and that mm -hmm. would be amazing, especially if it was a super and a clown. Oh yeah, yeah because we'll just test it. We'll yeah. test. They'll tell us if it, they'll all be heterozygous at least, but. It'll tell us if it's homozygous. All right. Cora, if she's ready. Okay. So Cora is one that's really interesting because I do think that she's going to be up to size. Like, in fact, I think that she's probably up to size right now. I don't know if she's developing follicles though. Cora is our leopard sunset and she looks significantly different than other leopard sunsets that have been produced. She was the very first one. Originally, when we like were talking about this and other leopard sunsets came out, Brad, um, when we sent pictures and we talked to Brad about it, he said, who's the one, he's the one who produced her, um, that he thinks that she is a leopard yellow belly sunset. We tested her shed and she did not prove um, through genetic testing to have yellow belly. So she is either a leopard sunset and like the best looking leopard sunset that's been produced because she is so bright or the only other gene that's possible given the pairing is inchy. So if we want to know that she is inchy, we need to pair her to something without inchy. And that could be Aries, get a whole clutch of leopard sunsets, sunsets, and potentially leopard inchy or inchy if she has it in there. Aries is going to a lot. Yeah, he's he's got two more that we're about to add to that list of four. Okay, so we might not do Aries to Herb just because he's going to be stretched. This isn't his first season, but he's going to a lot. I personally would love if some of our holdbacks that we had this year get up to size, but that would kind of determine, does she go late in the season? Like, if we could get to the summer and... Adolin, who is our red striped yellow belly het sunset male that we produced at the late summer this year, if he was like 10 months old and up to size, I like. It'd really be pushing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I think that it really. I'd rather depends. her not slug out. Yeah, true, true. I didn't think about that because she has a visual sunset and we yeah. really want that clutch. So I think they'll be good for her next year, but I don't want to pair her to a 10 month old snake. I'd okay. really rather okay. be at least a year. So if we're doing that, I think that realistically our only other options that we could do that I think makes sense would be Atlas if we want to work a bunch of genes in a sunset project and we can work in guaranteed asphalt at sunsets mm -hmm. or Meru. And that would give us Neola Leopard double hat sunset clowns. Potentially there's Inchi and we could tell that out. We could not tell if Inchi was in core if we paired to Atlas. Unless we ended up with so a super inchy. inchy. Yeah. But that's not. That's. And we can always pair to Aries too. If we want a whole clutch of visual sunsets. But we're already going to do that with Prada. We've already got that with Prada. It's probably the best, the best option. Okay. Let's put um, Cora underneath me. And I also feel like that with doing that, we will not buy a clown hat sunset because realistically what I'd want is to get a male leopard Neola double hat sunset clown, or hopefully there's Inchi in there too, and get that as a male and pair them to all our double hat females once they're up to size. And they will be mm -hmm. completely unrelated to each other too. Now here's the only other option, Leo, because that would get yellow belly. True. He's true. he's an ivory. We could test for the head clown, so we could get super leopard. 
I I personally like Meru's pair better just because okay. all of them will be Het Clown for sure, so we don't have to worry about the odds. Okay. Do you want me to put Leo as a backup? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then we've got Hazel and Viola. They're both going to Aries. Yes. So they are 66% Het Sunset females. One of them's a leopard. Viola is a leopard, 66% Het Sunset. And then Hazel is a normal 66% Het Sunset. So we want to pair them to our visual sunset to prove them out. So um, Hazel and Viola puts Aries at six. Is that everybody? Um, I'm going to grab the camera and then we can start putting in pairings right now. That sounds fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.